All right, Aquarius, what's going on for you? This is your mid-April reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you don't know what that is, you can check out my, my Birth Chart Mastery Mentorship. All right, there's a link in the description box below. Hit the little more word, and then whoop, the description box opens wide up. So if you want to figure out your birth chart and how all of these readings may impact you, give that a shot. Okay, all right, let's see where we go. I'm sorry I'm getting a little cold, so... There's a little bit of, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's happening today. <laughs> but let's see where we go, Aquarius. I'm at a progressed sun, Aquarius. So that means I'm more of an Aquarius than in this part of my life than even Sagittarius. Foggy bog. This is patience. Indeed. Guardians of the land. Protection. Stag spirit. Leadership. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I feel like some of you are very, very either being protected by someone or you are a protector. And you may have somebody in your life who is one of those people who um, helps other people, but not in a codependent way, in a way that promotes other people's leadership, right? In the way that like brings people along and helps them do what they need to do. It's a very loving thing. Okay, so protection and um, and all of that isn't necessarily about, it's not at all about keeping people from, from their mistakes or their things that they're going to do in their life. It's much more about being with them alongside, right? Walking along the path with somebody. So some of you have experienced that or some of you are that for somebody else. All right, that's very important to note right now. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Underneath is the Knight of Pentacles, Strength card, Queen of Swords, the Sun card. Lots of Leo here. Wow. Lots of Leo. Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. Um, this is very important for me to note that what's going on here for you is like a, a test of strength, a test of strength, a test of protection, a test of leadership, okay, a test of those things. I feel like there might be people around you who are struggling. I don't feel like this is you. The five of wands, the four of cups, and the five of pentacles. You may see other people that need your help and protection, your leadership. <clears throat> I feel like some of you who are working for yourself, you may have this sense that... Um, there's definitely other people around you who are struggling. Okay, there's definitely. I like that you're getting the, the strength, energy, and the sun. The queen of swords, there's real clarity and discernment here. Knight of pentacles, you've worked hard to get where you are. Now, that means that other people may look to you for your guidance, right? We're going to clarify some of these cards now. The five of wands. Devil energy. <clears throat> The Four of Cups. Whoopsie, there we go. Five of Cups, wow. Uh, lots of five energy here. Lots of change energy. Five of Pentacles. Please clarify the Five of Pentacles for me. Knight of Wands. Okay, so I'm going to just do this first here. The Five of Wands, clarified by the Devil energy, is it's likely that you're dealing with some people who are struggling against addiction, or you're dealing with um, your own kind of life, like you've really overcome some things, you're really moving forward in a great way. There's lots of people around you with issues, okay? There definitely is. And there may be somebody who is, um, somebody who's quite toxic or somebody who is also quite um, really under the thumb of, <clears throat> of an addiction of, you know, some kind of problem. They could have a toxic marriage Okay, they could sort of be at the end of that. And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of challenging to be, you know, just sort of witness somebody's um, end or witness somebody's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, sort of witness their experience without really stepping in and doing anything. You're just really shining this light, uh, this strength, this power, this leadership, 
You're just witnessing. The Queen of Swords isn't really saying anything. Like you're showing up as the Queen of Swords here and you're just kind of like, yep, I'm here to just pay attention. I'm here to witness. Sometimes people just need to be seen. Okay, you don't have to do anything. And the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups, there's loss here. Five of Pentacles and Knight of Wands. You know, other people doing um, kind of unconscious things or kind of running away from their problems. You may be somebody who is called upon to help other people a lot. And so there might be people running away from their problems or something like that. And I don't think there's anything here for you to do. Although I feel like you standing in this Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, right? You're just kind of witnessing them. The Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. There could be a Sagittarius or a Leo uh, fire sign who is... Um, being left out in the cold because of this struggle. <clears throat> they could, this could be somebody that you know having this struggle. They're dealing with a toxic partner or a toxic person in their life. Uh, they're dealing with it through loss and through problems and stuff like that. And they just have to move on. They can't stay here. Now, a lot of times we see um, a reflection of our own struggles in other people. So you might be having a time when you just need to move on from a certain struggle and you're witnessing that in another person. It's kind of like mirroring back to you like, oh, OK, I just need to I don't need to engage with this. I need to really move on from it. So what can I learn about this? I can learn that there are certain things that are not resolvable, not resolvable. Not everything. And I I almost feel like this is what it's teaching you is like not everything can be fixed solved, worked through in a logical way. I know that that's what you want. The Queen of Swords is, is very much about that. But I don't think that this, I think this is a, a like a, a problem without an answer or a vexing situation that doesn't have resolution, which is very frustrating. Um, please clarify the Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups, <coughs> excuse me, um, Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, Moon, and the Two of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Yeah. There's. Um, I don't think there's any resolution to this. You might be um, empowered right now, and you might feel like, okay, you know, I am sitting in patience with this situation. I'm sitting in protection of this other person or of this situation and in leadership of what's going on, but there's nothing else to do. Um, this other person or the situation that's right in front of you is basically saying, um, it just has to run its course or you just kind of have to, to move on. And I don't really often see this, that there is, there's nothing to be done. Um, it's possible that there is some bad blood between people around you or some situations where you're kind of walking into the middle of something that has bad blood and you're not being touched by it, which is great. You're not being touched by this. And I don't think it's going to stick around too long. I think this is a few months. Uh, there's a few months ahead where you might have to sort of be neutral or be an observer of a situation in your life. Um, there is somebody who is feeling lied to. There is somebody who is feeling uh, betrayed or feeling like they are. Um, it's almost like you have two people and you're the third. And both of them are like at each other's throats or both of them are having their own problems. And you are just sitting in that queen of swords throne. Like there's nothing, there's nothing to say. There's nothing to do. It's just going to resolve itself. Queen of swords. Yeah. Five of swords star. There's your card. That's the uh, Aquarian card, page of cups and the seven of pentacles. I, I wonder if, um, 
I wonder if each of these people who are in your life know that they're having the issue or know that they're having like an irresolvable conflict. There's definitely one person who has a lot of toxicity to them, who is creating stagnation and alienation uh, because of their controlling nature. This person has a very controlling nature. Um, I feel like you can heal situations by being part of them, which is why you're witnessing this. Just by being in, um, in the energy of the situation is good, is positive. Um, I feel like this is, this could drain you though. This could take your, you know, sort of your life force just to be kind of holding it together. I think there are some sneaky things going on behind each other's backs. I think there's some lying going on, but whatever it is, it's definitely not your job to fix it. Um, this eight of pentacles is about putting in time and effort. I think neither one of them wants to put in any time and effort. That's why there's no resolution. You can't do anything about that. There, it does feel a little bit um, powerless to me. Not for you. Well, you might feel that way. You might feel like you're powerless. But, you know, you're here for a reason. You're here witnessing this and having this going on in your life for some reason. <clears throat> Tower. Six of Cups. Empress. And the Nine of Pentacles. Um, there's going to be a Tower moment here. And, I, you know, I, I just feel that, um, I mean, these could be two family members that don't get along. These could be, this could be like your wife and your mother or uh, your husband and your dad or your brother or something like that. There's definitely a triangle here. And um, I feel like something is going to come through. There's an ending. There's, it's not, it has nothing to do with you. The tower is an ending an ending to your putting effort and time into fixing this or thinking that you have to just witness it, be present because that's a healing thing. But I don't feel like that's benefiting you at all. Okay. So I get the sense that there's some kind of tower moment, which clears the decks. Okay. So one of these people could get, there's some other distraction. There's some other thing going on. So we're not going to be, we're not going to be in locked in battle anymore. We're not going to have that. There's going to be a, a, a releasing of that. And you are going to be released by that. These people are going to be released by that. This is a triangle that um, has become so stuck. Only a tower will fix it. Okay, only a tower will fix it. So I'm going to see where we're going here. I do see uh, Leo and Sag energy. I see um, Cancer energy here. I see Capricorn. All right, I see you, the Aquarian energy. I see Taurus and Libra. There's something about that. So let's continue on and see where we go. If this is your reading, if you're like witnessing two people kind of going at it and it's been a problem for you, this is your reading, okay? Link is below. If you want to continue on, just hit that more word and then whoop, the description box opens wide up and you'll see the link. Okay, uh, if you want to continue on, hit that link. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.